At 26, Ali Harbi Ali has a lifetime ahead of him, but a lifetime that will be spent in prison. They say he's got a knife and he's just stabbed someone. After murdering the MP, the Islamist extremist had hoped he'd get shot dead by police. Mate, drop the knife! Drop the but the brave officers who arrested him didn't have guns. Right, search him. Sir David Amos's family said they felt no elation at the whole life sentence. A family statement was read out by Britain's top counter-terror police officer. It breaks our heart to know that our husband and father would have greeted the murderer with a smile of friendship and would have been anxious to help. How sickening to think what happened next. It is beyond evil. The judge described Sir David Amos as a man of the greatest substance. His loss, he said, had national significance. He was serving the public at the moment of his murder. The judge told Ali the murder had struck at the heart of democracy. The only thing in the killer's favour, he said, was his lack of previous convictions. But that wasn't enough to avoid the punishment of a whole life prison sentence. Before the murder, Ali had researched other potential MP targets. In statements read in court, they told of the lasting effects on them and their families. So too did Sir David's parliamentary aide, Julie Cushion, who heard her boss being murdered. She wrote, The moment I realised Sir David had died, when the paramedics stopped running and the crime tape went up, is always running through my mind. The expression on the perpetrator's face as he walked out with the police has stayed with me all the time, as he looked so smug and so self-satisfied. After the sentencing, the debate over MP security continued. We have to have a balance between looking after MPs and preserving democracy, uh, but at the same time making sure that a representative is always available to his constituents. As a teenager, concerns that Ali was a potential extremist were not pursued. Police have reiterated appeals for information about any individual considered at risk of becoming radicalised. Martin Brunt, Sky News, at the Old Bailey.